Hey everyone, welcome to Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lawless. Today we're looking at Mauro Rosales' goal for the Seattle Sounders against the Philadelphia Union in a 1-0 win on Saturday, May 5th, 2012. It's a lovely little bit of interplay from the Sounders with more than a few moving parts. Most importantly, it's a match winner. All right, let's wind it back and break it down. The play begins on a throw-in. Now make no mistake, a throw-in can be and is a set piece. That means that it launches a series of loosely coordinated movements for the attacking team. Now this play begins with Eddie Johnson checking back to the ball for the throw-in and Freddie Montero cutting across in support of Johnson. Now I'll admit, Johnson's touch is sloppy and falls fortunately to Montero, but that little crossing run from Montero is a time-tested move for a striker. It shows a decent understanding for two players that haven't actually played together too often. Montero's movement has a devastating effect on Philadelphia. It removed four defenders from the equation. That, in conjunction with Keon Daniels' lazy defensive recovery, leaves the Union ripe for the taking. A couple things to notice. First, Brian Carroll gets tight on Montero, perhaps worried that Montero's gonna repeat that long-range blast that he hit in the previous game. Next, Raymond Gattis is all alone. Osvaldo Alonso's late run out of the midfield, poorly tracked by Daniel, remember, occupies Gattis' attention. The rookie steps up, but Montero skips Alonso and sends his pass all the way to Rosales. This is the ultimate result of all of Seattle's movement, getting Rosales wide open in the box. Incredibly, there's no defender within 10 yards of him. For a player of Rosales' talent, the finish to the lower corner is a foregone conclusion. And after that, so is the win. Well, that's it for this episode of Anatomy of a Goal. Join me again next time and we'll wind it back and break it down.